Hi everybody and welcome back to just a short vlog today. I thought I'd just do another one because I can. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of an interesting day today. Um, so obviously you know we've got this at the moment and um, this is a part X for my van that went. There's one big problem with it, it won't start, it's poorly. Um, we've had the RAC out, very nice chap he was. He turned around and he said to me, it's got low fuel pressure, so they're sending a recovery truck. It's gonna be quite late before it gets here. And that's going to my usual garage to get fixed. He says a fuel pump. Now, I don't, I'm thinking a fuel pump. Maybe I'm thinking because a diesel heat fuel pump's a lot of few quid. I thought about 100 quid for a van. They're about four to 500 quid brand new for a fuel pump for that thing. So if that's the issue, oh my God. Anyway, as part of my little vlog, um, I'm going to show you what we're doing today here at the workshop. This is just a day in the life of Built Not Bought. Literally, that is it. Um, this is nothing, no particular vehicle. So, as you can see, we've been, we're doing this. Um, let me show you, give you a quick peek inside. Because my van's done and gone, I've got to do some work on it. And so, we've completely stripped this out now. And give it a clean up. So the mattress is gonna go back in once we've drilled holes in the bed. Um, I, my bags, look at this stuff. Right, so. There's a hole in the floor where the diesel heater was. That was a real pain in the neck to get out. Um, it does look too bad with the kitchen and that and the cubs up there. It's just very, very grubby. These vents are gonna be replaced. Um, the seats have been replaced or recovered, should I say. And that shower's coming out. This, it will come out, but for now we're leaving it in. You can see where the electrics were down there and where the toilet is just over there. There was a seat there, but it's come out. And there's the battery. So, there's work going on in this vehicle just to make it so I can use it for the next event that we go to. And as part of that, what we've managed to get hold of and pick up is a tow bar. So, as usual, we de-rusted it. We had a wire brush attached to, um, I'll show you. <clears throat> wire brush attached to the angle grinder. Worked a treat. So it's been cleaned up. Then we put some rust converter on it. And it's just had its coat of hammerite paint. Do you know, it's, Looking as good as new. Um, I'm just waiting for a, a tow bar electrics to arrive to hook up onto that and wire into the transit. So that's gonna go on the back of the transit. You're asking yourself, why do we need that? So, if you're coming to our, the event we're at next, Van Life Chill, down in Shaftesbury, we got one of them, a food trailer. Just the expansion of the business really um it made sense because we've got a lot of shows and we've got to eat um when we're at stratford the marshals that are working for us will get free food uh food vouchers for this van not everywhere other van just our van so just a little perk for you guys anybody that helps out will get these vouchers so yeah it was sort of a natural progression and when i say that's taken up a lot of space if you look in here behind behind the camera right now, I mean, look, just to give you an idea, this end of the workshop here was clear, but it's full of catering stuff. And I will make you laugh. When I picked that trailer up, I left Dorset at three o'clock in the afternoon, drove about a four, five, six hundred mile round trip, Got back to Paul, um, Paul in Dorset about half two in the morning. So had to pick up cars, drop off cars, and it was a, it was just a real sort of military operation. Right, another reason I'm back with you today, just to do a quick vlog. I know it's a midweek one, 
It might be the Sunday one that I do just to show you where we're at and what we're doing with the workshop and everything. So, the bus doesn't look like it's actually had much done to it. Focus. But there is progression at the front. We now have a full set of seats fixed in the van and the floor's fixed in. So, that's in. That one's in. And that board along the wall is in. So, lots happening. Oh, as you can see, the seats are in the front. Nice bit of carpet in the front there. So, all told, this bus is coming along just, just at a nice pace now. Um, now we've got the seats in, I'm going to start working on the rest of the shower because everything's in there and it's all plumbed up together. I just want to double check it and make sure I'm happy with the setup because I've got to put, let me explain. So I've got to put a bar along here which is going to hold um, the shower tap mounting point. And the shower taps will go out through here and these were connected to it. So that will go out through there. Um, the reason I've, I've had it like this and built it like this is down here, this is going to be left open. There'll be a bit of rubber mat going in the floor here. And there'll probably be rubber here as well. Because when it comes to changing these filters, there's going to be two access doors. One behind the seat here. And then a bigger one at the top here, which will be able to open just to deal with all the controls and everything on the shower. So that's what I'm going to work on next. Because um, once I'm happy with that, I can put all the access panels on for maintenance. Because we've got to be able to get hold of, take these off and change the filters with pretty much ease. We don't want to make that too difficult, hence why they're at this height here. So we can get in through an access hatch here, behind the seat, pull them off, change them, clean them, whatever we decide to do. And the same will be down through the, under the seat here, and that is the um, spin down filter. We've got to be able to access that as well. But I may change the location of that, I'm not too sure. Um, I might give that a bit of a standoff I just feel that the space down the bottom there is not quite enough because that's where you can empty it and clean it out. As long as I can get myself a um, hose on the end of it, I'll be quite happy. So yeah, things are happening. And what else? Oh yeah, I forgot, around the other side of the bus. So under there was a box holding the diesel heater. Yep, we ripped that out. And what we've done is, welded it all up, left a little air hole there, left that hole at the back, and in there will be mounted a compressor, which controls the air horns up there. So I think that's about it. Anyway, for now, so very short vlog. Just want to give you a few updates, what's going on, things are happening, and I'm feeling good. After my last video and the weekend away, I'm feeling very, 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 very good about, you know, because it wasn't a very good one. You know, I was thinking about giving it all up, but how can I give it up? You know, it's, it's a big passion of mine in this place. Um, it's had a lot out of me the last, oh my god, we're in March, nearly April, 16 months we've been here, um, a lot's changed here since we've had it, you know, the business even, the shape of the business has even changed as, you know, things do when you start a new business. Right, on that note, I'm going to say bye for now. Hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well. Most, most of all, staying really, really happy. Bye for now, everyone.